Back again for another review, Big Tom. Time young. Today we're going to be doing the Cool Fire One by Inakin, the most elitist mod out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's a nice little mod. It's a budget mod. Okay, you can pick these up for about thirty-four ninety-nine, between thirty-four ninety-nine and thirty-nine ninety-nine. I know they're thirty-four ninety-nine on my e-pack. Um, it's an eighteen three fifty mod, and it's a regulated power mod. It actually only produces eight point five watts as standard, and that is as far as it goes. So, if you're into a, a heavier wattage, like if you're into your ten watts and things like that, then this ain't the mod for you. But it's a nice little sleek design. It kind of reminds me of the baby brother of the SVD that the Inacon brought out last year, um, the, the telescopic one. Um, yeah, 18350, but it has them uh, typical Inacon designs. It has the three clicks on, the three clicks off, like so. Yeah, and it also comes with this iClear 30B, which is uh, you know their new sort of uh, clearomizer or, or, or glassomizer or whatever they have. You know, it's pretty cool. Though. Um, and unlike the first iClear 30, this one has a removable drip tip, which is a bonus. Um, it's a nice vape. Yeah, it's a budget mod at the end of the day, but it's a great budget mod, fits really well. Yeah, it's quite stealthy, even comes with this little plinth on it, so if you can take this off, remove your uh, plinth, you can stick your clear rows on the top of it, or your evods, do you know what I mean, and, and off you go, so that's that's quite cool as well, you know. Don't look the best with that on, man. <laughs> it's girly, that. It's all right, do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a budget mod at the end of the day. Now, the reason they call it the Call Fire is obviously because it only goes to 8.5 watts. So you're going to get more of a cooler vape out of it. You know, At the moment I've got a nice menthol in this, so it's really giving a cool vape. Just goes with the name, mm. Cool Fire. Comes in this lovely little box as well. Yeah, it comes with this box. Takes an 18350 battery, um, obviously no other it's not telescopic and, and no other tubes come with it, so it's an 18350 as standard. So it's going to last you only a fair few hours for the day. So you're going to need a couple of batteries, one on charge and uh, one going. But I mean, this is the Cool Fire 1. They've also got a Cool Fire 2, which is a complete ridiculous bastard that looks like a grenade. I mean, who the fuck would want a grenade in their handbag? I mean, you could pull this out. And I was at an E-Sig. You pull a grenade out and you've got panic on your hands. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sitting there vaping, everyone's going to think of... <laughs> Especially some of my complexion. <laughs> it's fucking over. Terrorist. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a nice little mod, and for the price, I mean, you can get these from my e-pack at 34 99 You know? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with 34 99 You've got a few mods out there that cost that, like the iTaste um, VV, you know, the V3 version. Um, but, I mean, that's variable voltage and variable wattage, the V3. Like I said, this has one regulated power, which is 8.5 watts. So if you're not vaping, um, if you're not into your vaping at 8.5 watts, this ain't for you. Yeah. But if you don't mind vaping at 8.5 watts, and you want that cooler vape, hence the name, the Cool Fire, then, then this is a nice little um, little gadget to have. It looks good. It's, con it, 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 it's you know... It's very compact, stealthy as well. Very yeah. stealthy. Uh, it's made of stainless steel. You've got battery venting at the bottom. Um, you've got your typical button there, like you would get on the SVD. You do have the plinth that you can take off, so you can have uh, ego threading or uh, put your clear miles. Uh, you can put your clear misers on it or your evods. And um, yeah, comes with this tank as well. You know, removable drip tip. So that's always a bonus. Sweet. What more can you say about it, really? It's a, a nice little budget mod, you know what I mean? Uh, Inokuna are now trying to um, cater for, for everybody. Yeah. And, um, you know, as far as budget mods concerned, you could do a lot worse than this. Of course, it's great for a beginner, and it's also good for, like, maybe a pub vape, something like that, going out on a night out. And if you've got a mod that, if you're going to lose it, you're not going to be worried about 34 quid, you know? You're not going to be losing Good vapour production, yeah. 8.5 watts, you know? But it is a cooler vape. You know, some of you like a warmer vape. 
and uh, some of you, you know, don't want vapor eight point five watts. And if some of you don't want, if you don't go that high, if you vape at like seven point watts, then uh, maybe it might be a bit too much for you as well. So it's an acquired taste, really. <laughs> um, it's better than vaping a fucking grenade. <laughs> yeah, it's better than vaping a fucking grenade. I'll give it that. No, nobody wants a grenade in their handbag. I'm telling you, not in this day. Oh, the one free for. Imagine, imagine going on holiday with your vapor and it goes through, and you've got a fucking grenade in your handbag. <laughs> Full cavity search coming your way. Um, but yeah, it, it does look sleek. I like it. I do. I do like it. It's it's lightsaberish. You know, maybe like Yoda's lightsaber because it's quite small. <laughs> How do I will? Um, but yeah, it's it. It's a nice little budget mod, you know, if you haven't got massive money to spend, if you're not into buying your mechanical mods or your clones or, or things like that, and you, you do just want something, uh, and, you, and you're a fan of Inacon, then you can do a lot worse than this. It's, it's a nice little vape, I'll give it that. I've got menthol in it at the moment, so uh, really going for that cool fire. Um, <laughs> but it's nice, I, I do like it. Personally, it's not one for me. I wouldn't, I like the vape with my K funds and I like the vape with my ridiculous expensive mods because <laughs> you're really I mean I'm an elitist <laughs> according to some but um you know Elegant, elegant, elegant advertisement. <laughs> if you have if you have a small budget and you do want a vape and you wanna get off the egos and you wanna try something a bit more, you know, chunky and a bit more, you know, out there, this is a good one. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go down at the table. I'll show I'll show you it in its bits and pieces, and uh, let you have a look at the tank and all that. And then uh, we'll come back and give you our uh, our thoughts on it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. See you in a minute. Yeah. So here you have it in a can call fire one as it comes to you in this nice little box like so. You get get the mod, and you get a uh, iClear 30B tank. So let's take the mod out. As you can see, it's quite a nice design, stainless steel, and like I said earlier, it's almost like the uh, SVD's little brother. So you've got your uh, button there, you've got your 510 connection, it's also got a little plinth in case you want Ego threading or, um, you know, to use a Clearo or something like that, or an EVOD on it, so that's quite nice. Very small and discreet, stealthy in the hand. In order to take the battery off, you just take the bottom cap, have your battery there. It does have reverse battery um, protection, so if I was to put the battery in nipple facing down, it ain't happening, it's not going to work, so that's always cool. Pretty much Inokin does that on most of their uh, mods now. It does have brass connections, as you can see inside. Put the battery in, screw it up, and it's got that three click design one, two, three, and it's on. One, two, three, and it's off. There we go. So you just take out your iClear 30B here, screw that on, nice and simple. Take a vape, lovely, that's cool. There you have your iClear 30B, uh, removable drip tip, which is quite nice, unlike what they had on the iClear 30s originally that you got with the SVD, or the iClear iTaste, sorry, 134. Um, easy to fill. You take the uh, bottom section off, get your juice, just give it a little fill, make sure not to go over the hole inside or you will get some flooding and it will be coming out of the drip tip just put a little bit of juice in there to get it going there you have your coil there which does have uh, four wicks coming out so you're going to get lots of flavor screw that back in attach to your mod and vape away. 
nice and simple really it is only an 8.5 watt power output um, so basically if you like to vape stronger than 8.5 watts or even less than 8.5 watts this really isn't the uh, mod for you it's got a built-in 7 amp fuse for protection and stability short circuit protection um, LED power display like so low voltage warning just in case it will turn to yellow if it's running out of power and to red when it's time to uh, change the battery um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I mean the maximum power uh, maximum current output is uh, more than 5,000 ma um, and it just has that rated power of 8.5 watts you know so suitable for a uh, 2 ohm iClear dual coil clearomizer um, you know it's uh it's a it's a little mod it's a stealthy little mod it's pretty much to get you started up and running and if you want that feel of like a mechanical mod if you like that stainless steel look um, then this isn't a bad little mod really and for the money 34.99 it's pretty cool you can um, obviously get different coils for inside you'll need to change the coils they come at about £1.75 £1. to £2. Change them maybe every week or two, and uh, jobs are good. Let's take another vape again. It's a really good vapor production, actually. You know, you've got your vent holes at the bottom. You've got cool fire written on the side, the cool fire one. So, uh... All I can say, it is better than the Cool Fire 2. It doesn't look like a grenade. It's a, it's a nice little mod. And for the money, you could do a lot worse. So, uh, not a bad little thing there from Inokin. Alright guys, so after looking at the Cool Fire up close, it's pretty nifty. It's a definitely up there with your bargain mods, I reckon we could say. Bargain mod 2014 already. Well, it's early days, so, oh, so far. Uh, we are only in fucking January. <laughs> Give us a chance, do you know what I mean? But... It's a good budget mod. I mean, if, if to compare it to the likes of maybe the iTaste VV, the V3 and that, I mean, it's along a similar price range, but you do not have variable voltage, you do not have variable wattage, you are, you are basically there at 8.5 watts, so it is limited in that way. Um, like we said though, it, it's, it's a lot better than the Call Fire 2 in my opinion, I'm not, I wouldn't want a fucking grenade in my pocket. <laughs> You know what I mean? Those days are gone. So, uh, but if you got one to know. reveal, always <laughs> <laughs> after a freebie. Anyway, yeah, it has your five ten connection, so you can put whatever at is you're on in it. I mean, it is recommended to have a two ohm sort of um, uh, coil on it. Um, it does come with uh, obviously your pre-made coils. You do get another one. Uh, you can, you don't get another one. Um, you can order the others, uh, say off my EPAC or UK E6 store. They do sell them. Um, 18350 battery. So if you're a heavy vapor, you're going to need a couple of them to get through the day. Um, but it's, it's, it's a nice little device. It is. I mean, if you're not after something big and chunky and too expensive that you might be worried about getting scratched, if you want to take it out. It's pretty simple, do you know what I mean? It, it does what it does. Um, and in all honesty, it don't look bad. It's, mm. It is stealthy. Um, Ego threading as well for your EVODs. Little plinth on the top. A movable drip tip. The tanks ain't too bad either. You know, they've got a good flavour. Yeah, they have, yeah. Good vapour production. Lung inhale it. Off you go. Big lung inhale. Look at that. Good flavour, good vapour production, good flavour. Well, it is a menthol, so it's hard to tell, really. Um, but I even like the green. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I even like the green tank, you know. So you can get your pre-mail calls uh, for this for about two pound a pop, one pound seventy-five a pop on uh, my e pack. Um, and yeah, what really more can you say about it? It's uh, it's kind of like a mechanical co uh, cod. It's kind of like a mechanical mod, but without with a button on it and and um and power control so 8.5 watts if that's your thing if you like vaping around 8.5 watts it's fine for you if you like vaping harder than that not for you mm -hmm. um, if 8.5 watts is too much 
not for you. So, uh, yeah. yeah. It's basically like the move up from basic ego kit, really. Mm. Um, but for looks, really, I, I think it's nifty. I think it's cool. Yeah. I reckon about a nine. A nine? Yeah, I think it looks cool. It looks I like the piss. I think it looks cool. Uh, I do wonder if you think it looks cool. It, it, it does remind me, like I said, of the SVD's little brother, but without the uh, telescopic. And uh, but it's just an 18350 mod. It is, it is one of them. If you're out and about, you are going to need to take some fully charged 18350s out with you if you're out for the duration of the day and the evening. Um, it's all right, you know. It does taste nice, and the vapor production is really good. And I do see where they're going with this. It's just that quick out and about mod. You know what I mean? Cause it's about no piss farting about. <laughs> I do. I, I think it's cool. No, I do look the vapor production on it. It's a joke. I'll end it there, whether it's re pre made or not. It's a joke. I'll. It's hard. Tastes well. You know what more? Do you ask him when you want a vip? You get. A, you get a good hit. So what? That's what you want. Help you, my real. <laughs> it is like Yoda's fucking lightsaber, isn't it? Yeah, a bit Star Wars, vent holes. Uh, I like it, leave it. It's nice. The battery just goes in the bottom like that, so, you know, job done. It's all right, so, but for looks... I'm giving it a nine. You can give it a nine. I'm giving it a nine, I like it, it's you cool. You can give it a nine, I'm going to give it a seven, because it's, it's not to my taste, really. It's... I mean, it's stainless steel and all that, but it still, to me, looks a little cheap. It really does. I mean, uh, but it is. It is cheap, so it's going to look cheap, and uh, it's going to act cheap, and uh, it is just basically cheap. So, um, you know. <laughs> Put a Nemesis badge on and he'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the elitist in there. But if you don't want to faff about, if you're not into your rebuildables, if you're not into your mech mods, if you're not into piss farting about, it's a nice little device. Um, you know. it is. Step up from this is step up from a beginner's kit. Yeah. Easily, it's just sim as simple as an ego kit. Put it in your mouth, vape it, and that's you done. You're getting off the stinkies, and that's the whole point we're in the in the vaping game for anyway. And as you can see. Great vape, really yeah. great vape. I yeah, like it do. is a good vape. I will give it that. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. Is it a good vape? At eight point five watts. I mean, I actually vape between seven point five and eight point five, so it's not a bad vape for me. But just for me, it's it's not. It's not cool. It's not all there. Uh, you know, it don't live yeah. by its name, the cool fire. It's it's more of just like a average fire. <laughs> Average fire, boring fire <laughs> one. Uh, do you know what I mean? But for thirty-four ninety-nine pounds, thirty-four ninety-nine pounds. Thirty-four pounds ninety-nine. Excuse me, I went out with a wife last night. It was her birthday. I've had a few drinks. I'm a bit fucking not complimentous today. Do you know what I mean? Um, but you know, it is what it is, as uh, Worm and Proton like to say as often as possible. Um, <laughs> It's nice, you know what I mean? <laughs> For the money, you can't really go wrong. So, here's the Cool Fire one by Inokin. Um I do see what they're trying to accomplish here. And, uh, yeah, if you want a bargain mod, it's not bad. Put a Tefan on it, it'll be all right. Yeah, you, you can put your rebuildables on it. Just make sure you coil it at about two ohms, otherwise... <laughs> You're going to blow yourself up. It's going to be a bit of bollocks, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, anyway, there's the Cool Fire one. Uh, thanks very much for watching this review, and we will see you on the next one, hopefully with something a little better. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs>